Thank you all for being here tonight, and thank you to all those whose hard work has made this evening possible. I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you also for the kind messages of support for Catherine and for my father, especially in recent days. It means a great deal to us all. It's fair to say the past few weeks have had a rather medical focus, so I thought I'd come to an air ambulance function to get away from it all. <laughs> but seriously, we gather tonight to help as many people as possible benefit from top-class care in the silhouette of London Air Ambulance's flying lifelines. As a former pilot for East Anglia Air Ambulance, I know just how vital the work of air ambulance teams across the country is, and the truly life-saving difference it can make to deliver urgent medical care wherever injury strikes. Here in London, the current aircraft has served magnificently, but our capital city needs a new fleet. And we are up against time. The clue really is in the appeal's name. By September, we need the two new red birds, decked with the latest kit, such as night vision in our skies. You wouldn't be here if you needed much persuading, I know. But just wait till you hear Milana's story later of how the Air Ambulance and its incredible teams have given her a second chance at life. I should also take this opportunity to give a mention to my, our, fellow pilot, Tom Cruise, Tom, huge thanks for supporting us tonight. And, and Tom, if you wouldn't mind not borrowing either of the new helicopters for the next Mission Impossible, <laughs> it would be appreciated. We've all seen on our screens that, how can I put it, you seem to have a different take on normal wear and tear to the rest of us. It's not the kind that buffs out. Anyway, an enormous thank you to everyone involved for tonight and for all of you being here and supporting such a wonderful and important cause. You're all, each and every one of you, lifesavers. That's just typical William, you know. Uh, thank everybody. I mean, he's a, he's, a, he's a sort of real class act, William, and, you know, he's going to have to um, carry some of the heavy load the, of the king in the next few weeks uh, as, you know, as the king recovers from this... Um, from this treatment for cancer, and um, he will do. Of course, you know he's uh, he's he's an absolute brilliant statesman and a great ambassador to our country. And um, you know he, you know, served in the in the in the air force and uh, and and for I think it was seven years was a, a helicopter a air ambulance uh, pilot, and and flew 150 missions. I mean, and they they some of those very traumatized. And incidentally. Even his policeman who flew with him everywhere trained as a medic so that he could he could help in the in the rescue. I mean, I remember speaking to Prince Harry about this when he was training. He said, "William, the exams William's got to do to become an air ambulance helicopter pilot are there tremendous." I couldn't do it, said Harry. So you know, I mean, he was full of admiration for his brother, you know, doing that to become a air ambulance pilot. And you know, they have to do some amazing things, you know, landing at motorways and land and uh, floods and just drag people back to get them back to hospital as quickly as possible, save lives. I mean, it is a, a he admits he many times was traumatized over it. And, uh, you know, I'm not surprised. He was pretty devoted to that and um, and sort of gave it up when, of course, you know, he had to sort of work for the family firm and uh, a job that he put off as long as he could. But now he's sort of entrenched in it and, um, and you know, got his own problems at home. His, his wife's recovering from a... A, a, abdominal surgery and imagine you know he's trying to keep the kids occupied and see them off to school in the morning but you know he's going to get back to work he went to Windsor Castle this morning and did an investiture uh, I think he, he he gave a MBE to one of the England lady soccer stars uh, Ellen White and um, and later went to the air ambulance dinner where he met his old uh, pilot buddy uh, Tom Cruise who uh, he made a very good joke he said Tom don't borrow the air ambulances we and do what you normally do because wear and tear is not normally your 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 forte anyway and it was it was a good joke and it, and it made everybody laugh and of course Tom Cruise has been a, a great supporter of the 
and Britain. And of course, he supported the air ambulance, which was a terrific thing. And of course, it gave it tremendous publicity, not just here, but all around the world. And, you know, they've got to raise £15 million to get new helicopters. You know, William probably uh, is very appreciative that Tom Cruise turning up for this tonight because it would give it a lot of, lot of publicity in America and around the world because Tom Cruise is an international uh, star. Though William is, you know, is well, but but a lot of young people will listen to Tom Cruise and William's brilliant at his job too. And William's doing a very good job at the moment, standing in for his uh, father and, um, and you know, keeping the flag flying and the, the Buckingham Palace flag flying. And um, he will... You know, he won't let the country down, never will. A lot of Charles' programme has been cancelled. And last week, Camilla did a job at the up in Cambridge, uh, Queen Camilla, a lovely queen. And um, and that was a job that, that both the king and, and she were supposed to do later this month. But because the king had to cancel everything and Camilla didn't want to let them down, she brought the thing, brought the engagement forward and carried it out and she carried out she was laughing she was joking she was having great fun and she didn't look concerned you know she didn't look like a wife who was concerned which gave me a lot of hope thinking well maybe maybe they've, they've seen you know when the king's surgeon told him you've got cancer he probably said you've got cancer but this is what we're going to do for you and uh, and that's probably why he's she was in a good mood because he's in good hands and uh, he will you know he will I mean, do as he's told. I hope and uh, and get better quickly. And he's and he's hope you know something good comes of this because if he probably you know his father waited for him and he gave him nearly an hour of his time and hopefully you know a lot of things were said and maybe a lot of apologies came from Harry. You never know. And hopefully uh, he will stop criticizing this great family of ours, this great royal family of ours. And uh, and and trying to do work for him, and maybe, who knows? You know, I mean, if ever we needed Harry back now working for us, working for the royal family, it's now because uh, he was brilliant at his job. When as a member of the royal family, he was just fun to work with. He was a joy to work with. He was he was he made people laugh, especially children. When he was with children, he became a child himself. He was sensational. So. You know, uh, maybe, you know, he may be having second thoughts now when he sees the family struggling to fill the engagements. But he, he made that effort. And, you know, I mean, I, I can't dislike Harry. I've had so many wonderful tours with him, so many wonderful pictures with him, so many great moments and see that pack, of the, the compassion this young man's got. I just hope he stops carping on um, and saying really, unfair things about our royal family.